Hello student, so let us start our discussion. In previous video we have discussed arithmetic pipeline and uh, then uh, we have tried to implement an arithmetic pipeline for uh, floating point addition subtraction and uh, after that we have tried to calculate the speed up ratio. So in this tutorial uh, we will discuss what is instruction pipeline. So uh, let me tell you that uh, if we want to implement instruction pipeline then we will require one buffer. Okay, so in that buffer uh, all the instruction will be stored which is supposed to be executed. Okay, and then one by one that instruction will be uh, forwarded uh, to the pipeline and then accordingly uh, there will be execution inside the pipeline. Now if we uh, think about those nominal uh, uh, regular or general uh, phases of uh, instruction, okay, then those phases are fetching the instruction then uh, decoding the instruction uh, then third one is I uh, calculate the effective address of uh, operand fourth will be the fetch the operand and fifth one will be the execute and last will be store result into some place now if we discuss about let's say register reference instruction or uh, IO instruction okay so in that case calculate the effective address of operand and fetch operand it is not required Okay, so if we try to implement a, a instruction pipeline using uh, this uh, terminology or you can, you can say that uh, using this many segment, okay, then uh, it will uh, waste time uh, or it will uh, create unnecessary delay for register reference and input output operation. Okay, so what can be done, how it can be uh, resolved. So normally while instruction pipeline is uh, implemented, uh, entire instruction cycle is divided into four parts. So uh, the first part will be the fetch the instruction from the memory. Okay, so this will be the first part. Then second part will be the decode the instruction and calculate the effective address. So decode the instruction and calculate the effective address. So this two segment decode the instruction and calculate the effective address. So this two will be much. Okay. Why? Because uh, in many instruction uh, this effective address is not required. Next stage is uh, fetch operand from the memory. So, in next stage, may, uh, next segment fetch operand, fetch operand from the memory. And last segment will be the execute the instruction. So, execute the instruction. There is no need of uh, separate segment which uh, used to store the uh, data into the memory. Why? Because input output operations are time consuming. So, it also it may also generate the unnecessary delay into the pipeline. So. Uh, let us try to implement uh, this uh, instruction pipeline and uh, let's have a look at uh, how it will how it will be executed or how it will be monitored now uh, dear learners let's have a look at the flow chart of instruction pipeline here first segment is fetch instruction from memory decode instruction and calculate the effective address if there is branch no there is no branch then fetch operand from the memory then execute the instruction and then uh, we will check whether there is interrupt or not if you try to recall the interrupt cycle then uh, you uh, you have seen that uh, while instruction is being executed at that time uh, we will check the interrupt whether the interrupt is uh, there or not okay so let us assume that there is no interrupt so we'll go with the next instruction and uh, let's say there is a branch instruction so what will happen whatever instruction has uh, entered into the pipeline okay so in case of branch instruction first the value of program counter will be updated and then whatever instruction has entered into the pipeline after the uh, this instruction or branch instruction okay it will be removed from the branch and uh, whatever instructions are uh, after the branch instruction or which or whatever instruction are in the segment of uh, proceeding the uh, branch segment okay then all those uh, instruction will be executed normally so this is uh, seems little bit confusing so let us just try to understand that uh, how it will take place so uh, these all are the instruction 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and uh, let's say that a branch uh, third instruction is the branch instruction which i have marked with some different color so you can have idea and these are the steps or you can say cycles so let us start our discussion so uh, at first step instruction one okay instruction one will be in first phase 
at next clock cycle instruction 1 will be in second segment and instruction 2 will be in first segment okay at third clock cycle instruction 1 will be in third segment instruction 2 will be in second segment and instruction 3 will be in first segment now in next clock cycle instruction 1 will be in fourth phase instruction 2 will be in third phase or third segment and instruction 3 will be in second stage uh, second segment so after this after completion of this segment in next cycle we will decide whether there is a branch or not so at next clock cycle what will happen uh, instruction 1 is already over so it will leave, it will be out from this uh, instruction pipeline now instruction uh, 2 will be in last stage so instruction 2 will be in fourth segment then uh, instruction 3 will be in second segment uh, sorry in third segment and new instruction will enter that instruction okay here uh, instruction 4 will enter into the first phase we forgot to mention it okay so uh, here after this phase okay here you can see instruction 4 is one phase uh, means first segment instruction 3 is in second segment instruction 2 is in third segment instruction 1 is in uh, fourth segment here in third state during third state uh, we will detect there is a branch instruction so what will what will happen the value of program counter will be updated and whatever instruction is entered into the uh, pipeline okay uh, it will be flushed means you can see uh, here the instruction which entered into the pipeline is instruction for one means the instruction number four which is in segment number one okay so it will be flushed okay and this won't be flushed why because it will continue with the execution so here there will be nothing then this instruction will be in last stage instruction three in four segment so at that time also uh, nothing will happen okay and then onwards the new instruction which will be fetched it will be from new memory location let's say instruction 41 okay in next clock cycle let's say uh, instruction uh, 5 will enter into the first segment and uh, instruction 4 will enter into the second segment okay uh, in next clock cycle uh, let's say instruction 4 will enter into third segment instruction 5 will enter into the second segment instruction 6 will enter into the first segment okay now uh, let me try to draw memory map and uh, let me clarify you that uh, how it will be done So let me write down those instruction numbers. Uh, let's say this is instruction number 1, 2, 3, 4 and these are the instruction number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So at first stage, at first second, this will be in segment 1. 
at second stage this will be in segment 2 and this will be in segment 1 at next clock cycle this will be in segment 3 this will be in segment 2 and uh, this will be in segment 1 at next clock cycle this will be in segment 4 this will be in segment 3 this will be in segment 2 and this will be in segment 1 now we people know that uh, this instruction 3 is the branch instruction so uh, let's see what happens in net next clock cycle means after segment to next clock cycle if it is branch instruction then uh, we will continue with the execution of segment uh, means second instruction which is segment 4 so segment 4 execution will be or here this will enter into segment 3 and whatever instruction which is entered from memory location 4 it will be removed from the pipe and uh, then again uh, we will value the update of uh, we will update the value of uh, program counter so let's say we are jumping to this location so in segment 5 uh, means at, at fifth stage uh, this will be empty means the after discarding we will not allow any new instruction to enter into the pipeline then at segment uh, means in next clock cycle this instruction will be in last stage and specifically you can see in six uh, step at next clock cycle after updating the value of program counter this instruction 4 will be uh, from location this okay it won't be from this location okay it will be from this location why because uh, we have updated the value of program counter clear with this so then onwards uh, the execution will continue as on okay. so this is how instruction pipeline is implemented in next uh, tutorial uh, we will try to discuss that uh, what which are the various pipeline conflict and uh, how it can be resolved okay so in this tutorial we will keep up to this thank you